In this video, we will take a look at the suspension. The suspension is the connection between the car and the track. It is a fascinating system which has a lot of influence on the driving behavior of our car. So, how does it work? To get as much grip as possible on the track, we want to have maximum contact between the wheels and the asphalt during a race. In order to achieve this, we have the double wishbone suspension because it allows for a lot of tuning to get optimal grip. Let's take a closer look at this. It starts off with the upright, which holds the wheel in place. It's connected to the chassis via wishbone tubes. In this way, the movement of the wheels is constrained by the geometry of the wishbones. The amount of movement there is under different loads is controlled by a spring damper system. This way we can control how stiff the car reacts to cornering or bumps. When the car goes through a corner, it tends to roll, which puts extra loads on the outside wheels. As we want similar loads on all tires, the suspension needs to redistribute these stresses and absorb all impacts. We do this using Coney dampers. Whenever the car rolls to one side, the anti-roll bar pushes the inside wheel towards the ground, making the car level again, so both wheels keep grip. Before designing the suspension, you look at what loads you expect on the car. Which tracks you will race on, which top speed you'll reach, and which cornering speeds you'll expect. But also, the range of settings you want. Ideally, the suspension smoothens out most bumps for maximum grip, but it can't be too flexible. Otherwise, the downforce will cause the bottom of the car to drag on the asphalt. All these things are taken into account for the design. Because our car is unlike any other, we completely design and customize the suspension ourselves. Right now, we are busy designing the third element and the anti-roll bar. With the design finalized, the components are sent out for machining at various partners like Lyft, West End and PMF. Once they have arrived back at our workshop, we check all dimensions and see if they are ready for assembly on the car. From this point on, the next steps are to fine tune the setup such that our car behaves perfectly on track. If you want to see more, don't forget to follow us. In the meantime, you can watch the Ask Our Vehicle Dynamics Engineer video. See you in the next episode.